This is the uh, Canada Goose head for the life-size um, decoy that I'm uh, creating. My client has asked for a very rough texture um, on the head, so what I've done is individual feather um, outlines all along the head going along the feather flow and I'm going to use my uh, diamond flame to carve these in and give a little bit of texture to this. Uh, I'm not going to be stoning in texture, I'm just going to be carving in this texture. So, following the pencil lines that I created, I'm actually carving in quite deep on this deeper than I would on a real de decorative, but then this is a decoy, so light, right. might have noticed that the head is and the neck are thicker are larger than life in some aspects especially in the thickness of the neck that's partially to leave uh, enough wood so that I can carve in this deep texture on the head the other, th the other reason is for string. You know, generally, uh, do every single pencil line. They're more of a guide, but they also help to keep me balanced and keep my feather flow going in the right direction. Of course, they get bigger as I get further down the neck, as I've drawn them larger. Each one of these V's represents a clump of, of a feather kind of clumped up, single feather, so why there are so many of them. And even Leon even is the key here. Once I get this head textured, I'll get those eyes set take care of that nostril hole that has yet to be carved in, or defined at least.